So the Nike Dunk Low sneaker is probably one of the most popular silhouettes that Nike currently releases. Um, you've certainly seen that over the last year or two. Uh, myself personally, I have quite a few in my collection. So obviously we have Golden Rods, Pandas, uh, UNLVs and Championship Reds. And as you can see from that colour blocking, they're pretty plain. And recently Nike dropped another colourway of the Dunk Low, which not only caught my eye, because it was different, but it also had some earthy tones. And I managed to get my W for retail. So let's check it out. Hey, what's going on? Luke's here back on the video. And today I'm checking out the Nike Dunk Low Cacao Wow. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, please do subscribe and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you do like today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And stay tuned for the end of the video for those on feet looks. Now today I'm taking out a Nike Dunk Low that not only caught my eye because it's different and slightly out there, but it also has some earthy tones. And that is the Nike Dunk Low Cacao Wow. So this sneaker dropped recently on the Nike sneakers app for £100.95 here in the UK or $120 out in the US. It was also available in other boutiques like Offspring, Foot Patrol, and Size, to name but a few. And for me, it's a fairly easy W. Good amount of pairs available. I wanted to see it in hand because I like the kind of textures and the tones, and also I kind of like the story behind the sneaker. And it also has quite a funky name, the Cacao Wow, but officially on Nike's website, it's, all, it's known as the J release. So the inspiration behind the sneaker and the color blocking is based on the Cacao Tree, uh, which obviously is used to make chocolate with the brown and the greens representing the tree and the leaves and I was a bit skeptical about the sneaker but after getting it in hand I'm really happy to add it to the collection so let's check it out to start with the box is nothing special because obviously it's not a collaboration it's not hype release so you should stand Nike box so you have obviously all red box and then you have your Nike text and swoosh in white on the top again you have Nike and swoosh on this side Nike and swoosh on this side. Let's take a look at size tags. It's the Nike Dunk Low NH. And the color is Cacao Wow Marina Rough Green. And it's a much size of US 14, UK 13. So pop a lid. Standard tissue paper. And here we have today's sneaker. So that's the Nike Dunk Low Cacao Wow. So here we have a sneaker, as you can see. So you've got some nice detailing and some nice colour blocking, I feel, and obviously the earthy tones give it that uh, nice little touch. So starting on the outsole, your standard dunk outsole. So you've got obviously a tread pattern here, and then your Nike and swoosh logo right here, and this is obviously in that marina green. Turn to the side, you've obviously got your white midsole right here. As you come up to the upper, so you've got a mixture of uh, three different materials. So you have your mesh material right here, you have your leather overlay right here, and then you have your suede overlay right here. Side panel midfoot is mesh, and this is kind of in a beige colour, I would say. It's almost hard to describe what that colour is. Let me know in the comment section if you think of a better colour. I would definitely appreciate that. As you go to the front of the sneaker, you've got this leather overlay right here. So it's obviously the, gr the rough green again. And what's nice about this, you've got this kind of intricate detail that you see right here. So you've got this light green stitching going all the way around and uh, all the way around to the top of the mud guard uh, and around to the other side, which I think is quite a fire detail. That takes a lot of work to, to put it into the sneaker. This is technically a GR sneaker, so it's uh, you know not something you might expect to see. So I think that's quite a fire detail. Obviously on the toe box, this is the whole Cacao Wow color right here. So I think that's really nice. It feels nice to touch against this mesh, so again, gives you that breathability. And then, as we go up the sneaker itself, so you've got this suede overlay as you um, to hold the laces in place, and obviously, you've got eye stays going up, and you've got the laces in that marina colorway, so I think it's quite fire. Tongue itself is a mesh tongue, 
so again in that uh, rough green colour and as you come to the top of the tongue you've got the Nike and swoosh in that marina colour and then obviously it's on a suede background in that rough green so again I think that's quite fire and again uh, really like that detail as we come to the side panel so you've got this leather panel right here again in that cacao wow and again you've got that green detailing that you see right here on the right side near the toll box so it's quite fire you look at the swoosh so swoosh is in that marina color as well and again this is suede so it feels really nice to touch real, real premium and added extra uh, that you wouldn't normally see on a dunk low so i think it's quite fire the sock is in that rough green color so i think that's again quite fire detail and then if we come to the back, you've got this suede piece right here for that marina colour and then again you've got Nike text embro embroidered uh, in this kind of uh, beigey colour I would say. Uh, so again that's quite quite a nice little detail. And again as we go down the sneaker again you've got that stitching as you can see right here. So again really um, interesting. Small detail but I think it's quite fire as well so that's really cool. And then the last little detail is inside the sneaker you've got Nike and swoosh in that marina colour. What I like about this as well is the laces are really thick so they're definitely going to give you a lot of support they're not going to you know break any easily at all so I think that's quite fire and it's kind of something you're expecting on an SB if I'm honest um, so for this to see on a dunk low I think it's quite a premium detail as well so really like that. So this is the right sneaker we'll take a quick look at the left. So left sneaker is exactly the same both on the lateral and medial side the one difference you have is you have these four jade beads uh, right here. What's interesting about this is this is literally the only element of the sneaker that would imply that you had jade elements and that's why the description on the sneaker app is called jade and not the cacao wow. It's kind of a similar um, detail that you saw on the recent collaboration with Clot on the Nike Jordan 5 low. It's quite interesting how Nike have embraced that jade um, detailing throughout their sneakers quite recently. In terms of sizing I go two to size, that fits fine. All my uh, dunk lows, I go two to size. Now, if you had a narrow foot, you could potentially go down a half a size, but I have a, I have a wide foot, so two to size fits fine for me. In terms of resale, you're not going to make any money, to be fair. Lunch money at best. It's £109.95, last sale on StockX, 117 So, yeah. Which is actually a common trend you're seeing with a lot of sneakers at the moment, is you're going to be able to get sneakers for pretty much just above retail. Uh, so... If you were interested in this, you could definitely pick it up for, for not much money um, over the retail price. One thing I will say is there are still pairs available in, slight, in smaller sizes on the sneakers app itself. Uh, so you could definitely grab this if you wanted to. And again, I think it's testament, you know, it's not a sneaker that everyone's going to like because of the colour blocking. But for me, I think it's nice. I like the earthy tones. And again, I like that storytelling. So I really have to have it in the collection. So what do you think of the sneaker? Did you cough or did you pass? Um, or would you consider paying resale? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for your foot's coming up shortly. And again, appreciate any feedback. Thanks for checking the video. If it's the kind of content you want to see, anything related to sneaker culture, you know, unboxings, reviews, opinions, etc. Please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.